in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make an interactive envelope design slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have designed this uh, envelope completely in powerpoint and i've just put kind of a open me button here when i click only then only the envelope opens and the greeting card whatever the inside will come out so let me just show you how it works when i click open me you can see here the greeting cards or any text you can replace with or any other image also you can replace with this one so this will come out all right and i have made one more slide where uh, this is not an interactive one and when i click it opens and then the the calendar of 2021 will come out so as i said you can add any of your uh, image here or any text also you can use for this purpose and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and you can contribute to my channel through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size maybe this size i'm going to make it and make sure it is aligned center shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some light color here and then go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle from the bottom you can see here maybe this much size then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and i'm going to duplicate this white color and i'm going to give somewhat a darker color a dark blue kind of thing and then i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here reduce the size and from the top also i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here so it looks something like this and then i'm just going to add two more uh, triangles on the left and the right side go to insert shapes select the triangle again draw the triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can use some lighter color okay and then go to rotate and i'm going to rotate right 90 degrees and then i'm exactly i'm going to put it here all right if you want you can just make it something like this also not a problem for that and then i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate rotate and i can just say flip horizontal and then i'm just going to add one more like this all right now uh, this one is done so i'm just going to add the top part also for this i'm just going to duplicate this you can see here and then just increase the size all right so this is my top part the same thing i'm just going to add it for the bottom also here as a closure of the envelope so that also i'm going to add but i'm going to add that at the later stage so now let's add some kind of you know some designs of of this envelope so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a triangle sorry rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline then press ctrl d you can add it the other side also and again ctrl d just rotate it i can just rotate it and add it at the bottom you can see here i can add it at the bottom all right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this one into different shapes so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw a rectangle give some different color combination shape outline make it no outline let me just give some other color yeah reduce the size and then bend it a little bit something like this you can see here maybe from the top also you can do it Control d you can see here I'm just going to keep on adding like this it doesn't matter even if it goes like this so what I'm going to do I'm just going to select this align I'm going to say right sorry not the this one align I'm going to make it right so it looks something like this and then I'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate 
bring the other side let me just delete this i don't want and then this one i'm going to just turn a little bit like this you can see here i'm going to bend the other side let me just delete i don't need this and then again press ctrl d you can see here and again i'm just going to select this without selecting the rectangle you can hold the shift key and click that one that will deselect then go to format align i can make it left so it looks something like this and then the bottom also i'm going to do the same thing maybe i'm just going to do this way you can see here all right now let me just select only these options okay all this merge shape and just say fragment and fragment i'm just going to delete this part can you see here or i can just simply delete like this also so whichever best possible way you feel uh, easy to delete you can just delete it so for me it's this way easy to delete all right so again i'm going to do the same thing here again merge shape fragment so let me just do it again uh, to select all go to format and fragment and again i'm going to delete this part you can see here just do one by one all right now i'm going to do the the bottom part so again i can just select this hold the shift key and i can just do one by one you can see here I can just do one by one like this also you can do it again more shape fragment and then I'm just going to delete it one by one you can see here so if you feel difficulty in deleting you can just do like this also see here so let me just delete quickly one by one so once this is done what i can do is i can just change the color all right yes so you can see here now i'm going to just select this go to format i'm going to choose two colors one is the red and other one kind of a blue one you can see here so I'm just going to first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to make it all red alternate uh, boxes I'm going to select and I'm going to give the red color you can see here this also I can press F4 key all right so this is red you can see here I'm just selecting the one by one so that's the red and here i'm going to choose or i can just select all this one by one you can see here i'm just choosing all this and i'm going to make it shape fill i'm going to make it blue so it looks something like this so this one uh, the design is ready now it's time for us to add some kind of a card inside of this and then do the animation now how to add the greeting card uh, you have got two ways either if you are having already some greeting card some image you can use it or if you remember i just did uh, one uh, this one you can see here i did this uh, tutorial for 2021 happy new year uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select Control a you can see here Control a all right then control c copy then i'm just going coming to my slide this one here right mouse click and just make it as a picture okay so this has become a picture and then i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here and then this will go inside so i'm just going to put something like this here all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to format and then start sending back you can see here all right so now the card is there now i have to do add the animation when I add the animation it should come like this and this one i have to just make sure that this is always sent to back go to format and send to back so what happens here is it comes out something like this all right so you can see here i'm just going to 
place it here let me just remove the guides all right now before doing that one i need to do the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane so first of all i'm just going to select this add animation go to more motion path you can see here scroll it down and i'm going to use this one up can you see here up and click ok so if i play it comes out something like this all right so now double click this how you want smooth start smooth and you know depending on your requirement maybe some bounce and the timings you need medium slow how you want you can just decide and click ok so it comes out something like this you can see here if i play it comes out something like this now uh, this one animation we did now actually the the envelope has to be closed and it has to open and then only this has to come so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the animation so first of all i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate sorry let me just maybe i've put it twice so let me just do it again press ctrl d to duplicate we can see here and i'm going to give some darker color here okay more darker color and this one also you can give more darker color all right or if you want you can right mouse click go to format shape fill and you can go to more colors and increase the size here you can see here sorry the shade here and click ok so it's more darker and this one let me just close this go to format rotate i can just flip vertical and then i'm just going to place it over here all right so it looks something like this now the animation which i'm going to do the first animation i'm going to do on this and then on this and the third one is the card one so for this i'm going to add the animation which is the exit effect so go to the animations okay add animation you can go to the more exit effect because this has to go i should not select entrance i should select exit so i'm going to select the exit and here i'm going to select the collapse maybe collapse you can see here click ok and collapse should happen from you can see here from top all right so it it closed like this let me just play i'm going to bring this up if i play see here it comes like this but now the animation i have to add animation for this also because this has to uh, close and here it should open so again for this i need to add the entrance effect so you can go to the more entrance effects and then whichever way you feel better maybe i'm going to use the stretch stretch i'm going to make it from bottom so it comes something like this and this should again i'm going to take this one the second one see the first one this animation second is this animation and third is the postcard comes out so this animation should happen exactly after previous okay and this also should happen after previous so now if i play let me just show you in the slideshow when i click you can see here and it comes out all right let me just play again all right so this way you can do this one and if you want to add any text or if you want to make it more interactive also that also can be done for example i want to click uh, i add a button here called open or here so when i click on that button only then only it's open okay so for that also i can just go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle and here you can just shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some nice colors here and then you can add the text go to insert text box you can add your text open here or open me or whatever i'm just going to give some random text here make it white font i'm going to choose the font roboto all right and then both of this text i'm going to select by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it and i can rename this one so go to select selection pane and i'm going to say this name as open me box okay all right and then for example we have added the picture also here the picture let me just select this one and this picture i want you know you can see here this is the greeting card i want to give it greeting card all right and let me just 
show this object also i just hide this one let me just show it now so even this also you can so what i'm going to do now so instead of clicking here uh when i click then only it's opening but what i what i want to do is when i click on this only it should open so let me just close the selection so double click this one this uh, animation go to the timings triggers start click on click on what click on our open me box which we have named it okay and click okay now if i just do here sorry i have to just bring this also down so this also should follow here and this also should follow like this now you can see here wherever i click it will not open and when i click here open me can you see here the cursor changes and when i click on open me it is opening so this way you can make a good animation and this is one sample only i have explained you can add any image or any text you can add for this uh, greeting card envelope